Welcome to Gel Printing July. So uh, today I had to do my uh, taxes and uh, so I'm feeling totally uninspired <laughs> to do any art at all. So I guess we can end the video here. <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, seriously, I had to do my taxes today and um, I don't know how that is for you, but for me, it's a, it's a completely different mindset that I'm in when I do my taxes than when I'm making art. So then I thought, okay, so how can I express this mindset that I'm currently in? How can I express that in my art for today instead of trying to uh, force myself to go into a certain mold that really is not what I'm, where I'm actually at at this moment? So that's what I'm <laughs> going to uh, to do or try or do no do um, I'm I'm going to uh, find symbols for my uh, Texas mindset and incorporate those in my gel print so my plan is to use some simple office supplies now <laughs> actually my Texas I do everything digitally <laughs> So I don't use any office supplies at all. But for me, they do symbolize this, this other mindset. So, um, yeah, I thought I could use at least some, some paper clips. Those are interesting shapes. And I can use, uh, let me move this. I can use uh, some elastic bands, of course. And I found an old uh, bank card. I can use that. And uh, oh yeah, and these I thought this is an this is an old-fashioned uh, what is this called a book clip or something like that. So I can try if I can use the shape of that as well because I really like it. And otherwise, actually I'm not even sure if it makes such a big difference. I can use a new one. And then I have some eraser refills. I can use those. I'm not going to use everything because I don't want to get paint <laughs> on everything. But um, I could try. This one is nice as well. Anyway, I think uh, that's enough talking <laughs> for now. Um, yeah, I'll go and uh, prepare my gel plate and uh, let's see what we can do. So. Yeah, of course, I'm using a um, square shaped uh, gel plate that really fits my uh, straight lines mood of, uh, yeah, my, my Texas and, and, yeah, not organic. And so I was also thinking to, to apply my paint maybe in some straight lines. So... I have a ruler here and I have some simple printer paper. I'm just going to create some straight, straight or straightish <laughs> um, masks. And if I would take my, my current mind, mindset completely seriously, I would measure this out. <laughs> but, but I'm definitely not going to do that. So let me just create a few of these strips. So I have, I have a bunch of these strips here, but let me just start with, with two. And I'm thinking, yeah, of course I could try to do this very straight, but 
I don't know. I guess it, that's also a bit the rebellious side in me. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to make it that straight. So we'll just do it in some kind of fun shape. And um, I'm just going to start with this first opening here. So I have a narrow brayer and I want to use my one of my favorite colors just to give cut myself some slack <laughs> it's been a hard day uh, uh, already so uh, i'm i'm just giving myself permission to use one of my favorite colors <laughs> And I wonder if I even um, adhered the paper well enough or if the paint is seeping underneath. But that would also fit the more rebellious part in me, I guess. <laughs> the, the part that really doesn't feel like doing any, any Texas today. So I don't know. Should I try to... Do this in a sit systematic way. I don't know. I can see my paint is already beading up, which I actually love. Of course, because those are organic shapes. <laughs> And uh, I can hear some uh, noise coming from outside. I hope it's not too disturbing. Otherwise, I apologize for that. Let me just add a few of these elastic bands. It's interesting because, of course, those elastic bands are also not straight lines at all. <laughs> so let me just for to get some real straight lines, use my bank card. And I try not to make indents in my <laughs> gel plate. Now I do need to add some pressure, so I'm going to get some tissue paper. Let's see how I can do this. I really don't know exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I don't know if I will still see some of those straight lines that I just created. Uh, oh well. Can I see anything at all from my... Oh, yeah. Wow. A lot better actually than I uh, thought uh, it would be. So that's uh, a nice surprise. Let's see the rubber band. No. Well, a little bit, but not a lot. But the paper clips are... <laughs> are showing their marks. So that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Let me see. Let me just get this off for now. <laughs> that really looks kind of cool. Okay, I think I'm going to do this again. Just in a different direction. So I'm looking a little bit at my composition, sort of. Oh, but I don't want to go over this nice um, paper clip. So how can I do that? I'll just do it like this. So let's see if I can use this one and some more rubber bands, which 
will definitely not stay in the shape that I try to <laughs> force it in. <laughs> Maybe also another paper clip, why not? And I'll just use my eraser to do a few of these dots. And maybe a few straight lines again. Let me see. So it's interesting because normally I would really not be inspired by uh, using uh, office supplies at all. But um, yeah, it does uh, inspire me or, or really tickles my creative um, mindset because it is actually what was in my head right now. So that's really interesting. So let me see, I think I want to do a little shape here, maybe something like this, but then again I don't want it to be too straight, or I could also do it like going t to the edge here, no I think this would be more interesting. And yeah, this really is just about my own sense of balance. You, For you it may be completely different. Um, I, I think I want to make it a little bit bigger. I could of course do <laughs> a little bit... Uh, yeah, my, my other... A little reminder of my other side of as well. Make this green and with some kind of an organic uh, shape. That would be fun, I think. Just as a, just a little reminder, a little wink. <laughs> Not to take everything too seriously also, that's also a good reminder. So I'm going to use my uh, Sage Blue Matte Acrylics for there. If I can get it out of the bottle. Oh, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't need that much of you. Thank you very much. I guess that's my creative side that wants to be more <laughs> in my face. <laughs> that says, look at me, I'm here. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to do a wood block. Probably it's not showing up that much, but oh well. I think I do need a bit more paint. Okay, let's try this again. And this doesn't have to be recognizable. I think it's not going to be recognizable. <laughs> But it is, for me, a symbol. All right. I wonder though if I should confine this symbol with those straight lines. It's not really what my creativity wants to do normally. So let's see if I can break this up a little bit. A little bit of green outside of the lines there. And of course I can break this up completely, but actually no, I, I do have to... Uh, well, today I did ha have to uh, contain my creative side a little bit and focus more on the straight uh, uh, lines of doing taxes. 
So uh, I'm not going to let this loose uh, <laughs> and be playful <laughs> as it wants to be. I think uh, this is uh, actually uh, a great symbol and a great metaphor for uh, yeah, my uh, mindset of today. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's finished like this. I'm going to let this dry and then uh, I'm go going to prepare everything to uh, transfer this to my paper. Okay, so this needs to dry and then uh, I'll come back to pull this print. Okay, let's have a look. Which way? Will it be? Maybe this way. Or, no, I think this way. This is so interesting because even though I'm, I'm usually drawn to, uh, to organic shapes, I really love the look of these straight lines. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really fun to see uh, the paper clips and uh, some of these straight lines here as well. Um, I'm not really recognizing the rubber bands, but I do here see the, the clip, the edge of that and some of the other shapes. Um, but it's also really fun that even though I am trying to create everything in straight lines and doing this uh, with symbols of my mindset of doing my taxes, there's still a lot of organic shapes that are creeping in nonetheless <laughs> but it looks really cool and i also really like this little reminder of the other side of my uh, more creative side which is still contained and confined here in this uh, artwork so I'm, I'm really liking the symbolism of this as well but I guess most important for me today really was uh, the, the realization that I can just integrate my, my current state of mind, my current feelings. I can integrate those in my uh, art and express them in my art instead of trying to force myself to go in a certain mold where I am, where I just am not at that moment. So that is a great realization um, and yeah, because that's really how I want to create my art. I don't want to uh, do uh, just a, a gimmick or do uh, always the same. I really want to, to yeah, have a, an expression of something that is within me anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this inspired you as well to, uh, to yeah, to try to just uh, sit still and feel what is inside of you and what you would like to express and how you could do that in uh, a gel print or some other kind of art. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to uh, uh, see more of my videos, uh, you can subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn more about gel printing and also do a lot of uh, art monthly projects, then uh, check out my Patreon because I have uh, a lot that's going on there. Um, so that's, that's really fun as well. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll be back tomorrow.